why the end of 3D modeling is near. It's getting harder and harder just firing modeling models from scratch when you can just 3D scan an object and import it into your 3D application with all the textures and materials all set. And if you don't have the time or skill to 3D scan an object, Libraries like Quixel Mega Scans and Sketchfab have thousands to millions of scanned 3D models for you to choose from. For things like trees and vegetation that are harder to 3D scan, procedure tools like Speed Tree exist that make far more accurate models with the ability to create hundreds of variations by just clicking the randomize or variation button. And to add salt to the wound, AI 3D model generators are around the corner. It is for this reason that I made a video about how generators are replacing polygon modeling and gave a few examples. Most of the examples in the video were paid generators which some of you pointed out and wanted to see a list of free generators for Blender so this is going to be that list. At number one we have this free Blender sterilized tree generator. This list is going to be your one stop center for every sort of generators like this sterilized anime tree generator. You can create endless variations thanks to the procedural nature of this generator and it's free for you to download. Number two, we have this easy hair generator. In art, some artists enjoy the process more than the final results. For those of you who care more about the final results and not the technical process of getting there, then you are going to love this tool. It simply turns mesh objects into hair. How? Well, I am in the I don't care how it does it group. I just want to see results and that's what the generator does. Number three, Procedural Feather Generator. This is a free generator that you probably didn't know you needed. It generates feathers that you can instance onto your characters for close-up shots to make your movies look like high-budget movies. You can create all sorts of feathers thanks to its customization parameters that you can access in the modifier stack. Number four, we have a free abandoned city generator. If you are looking for a reason to learn polygon modeling, I'm afraid this is not it because with just a few clicks and changing sliders on these generators, you can generate a whole abandoned city without ever touching a polygon or vertex. Number five, we have a pineapple generator. Demetri Notes has been around for a while now and I'm still surprised with what it can do. I bet you $100, 90% of you watching this video, including myself, can't model a pineapple that looks this good. But this generator can and it does it in just a few seconds giving us another reason why polygon modeling is about to die. And number six we have this free detective conspiracy boards generator. Imagine an office scene with this board in the background. It would turn a boring shot into a story driven shot. I really love this conspiracy board generator and I'm sure you will love it too. All you have to do is buy it for just zero dollars and it's yours. Number seven, we have this Buildify building generator. The purpose of this video was to show you how polygon modeling is dying. No other generator demonstrates the reason why than this free building generator. In just a few clicks, you have a complete building with materials and other decors like air conditioners, roof ventilations, and more. Such a building can take you hours to make with polygon modeling, yet with this generator, you can make tens of variations before the polygon modeling artists can delete the default cube. Number eight, we have a free pipes generator. If you're looking for another reason why less people are taking on polygon modeling, this generator should be it. You just extrude an edge and the generator takes over, turning that single edge into a pipe that is fully textured with details like pipe joints, corners, and valves. At number nine, we have the Bugapie modifier. The Bugapie modifier is a collection of generators that you can get for free. It comes with a lot of features, including scattering tools, optimization tools, stair generators, pipe generators, tiles, and more. Another advantage of using procedural generators compared to polygon modeled objects is how many variations you can make out of one generator. With basic polygon models, if you share the model with other artists, your art starts to look similar because you're all using the same models, which is not the same case with generators. 10 people can have the same generator, but as long as each 
changes at least one parameter in the generator, all your models are going to look different. That's why more artists are not afraid of sharing their generators for free because they know every artist is going to use the generator in a unique way. Number 10, we have free tessellation generator. If you want to create patterns on a mesh, this free tessellation generator is all you need. You just need the patterns objects you want to use in a collection, then apply the tessellation generator onto the mesh you want to have the patterns on and you are good to go. Number 11, we have this free hair generator. Hair was updated in Blender to take full advantage of geometry nodes, but it still requires a lot of setup to make it work. This free procedural hair generator does the heavy lifting for you so that you can focus on making hair look good. It also works with curves and mesh objects as hairs. The list of all functionalities are listed on the download page. Number 12, we have electric pole generators. Small details like electric poles can make a big difference in your scene and with this free electric pole generator, it won't even cost you time to add these details into your scene, like it would if you decided to model them the old-fashioned way. Number 13, we have this free crystal generator. I added this crystal generator to further demonstrate how procedure modeling is going to obliterate polygon modeling. This crystal generator is not just generating the shape of the crystals, but it's also driving the materials of the crystal. While this is possible with polygon modeling, you have to resort to texture painting or vertex painting. With a procedure workflow, all you need is to generate masks that you can send to the materials like normals, edge neighbors, face angles, and more. These fields are easily accessible through the nodes of the generator, which is not the case if you modeled this with polygon modeling. Number 14, we have a free Xmas tree generator. We are not in Christmas season yet, but if you want your movie project to be done by Christmas season, you should be starting on it right now. To save on time, here is a free Christmas tree generator that generates a well-detailed tree with ornaments and decorations. And thanks to the procedural nature of the generator, when you generate a new tree, all the decals update correctly. You would have to update them manually if this was a polygon modeled tree. Number 15, a free melt generator. While on the topic of Christmas, if you substitute the melting lava material of this generator with snow or glass, you can use this melt generator as a snow melting effect. It's free, so why not? Number 16, we have a free blender snow generator. Need snow? Don't waste time making it yourself unless if you want to learn how to do it on your own. But even then, just get this free snow generator and reverse engineer it to make your own version. You will likely learn more from the process than you think. Or just use it directly as is. Number 17, we have a CRT display generator. This is not really free, but it's only $1. And it's really a cool generator that I know a lot of you would like to have. It simulates a CRT display, generating each pixel RGB light, and you can scale things up if you want a close-up shot of the screen. Number 18, we have this free blast beam generator. There is no way this sort of thing would be possible without setting up complicated simulations, and you know how unpredictable those are, or a simple procedure workflow like this. So if you ever want to make a sci-fi shot, you will be glad to have gotten this blast beam generator. You get the destruction and laser beam all in one package. At number 19, why polygon modeling is about to die, we have the ultimate suit up. If you like nanotech transformation effects from Transformers or Iron Man suit, then you're going to love this pack of transition effects. This free pack comes with a few suit up effects, but you can also get more effects by getting a paid version for just $3. And, uh, and finally, at number 20, Yet another reason why procedure modeling is just going to obliterate polygon modeling, we have this free IV generator. Blender has always come with an IV generator, but it's not that good and it's really slow. Replace it with this free, awesome, and realistic Geometry Nodes based IV generator. It's quick and easy to set up. The dimension is free as well. To conclude, it's impossible to predict the future and it's likely that polygon modeling is still with us for a long time. It is still hard to make sterilized characters procedurally and you can't scan them because they don't exist in real life. This video was just a way to remind ourselves how dynamic this industry is.
While polygon modeling is here to stay, some areas of modeling have already gone to procedure workflows and 3D scanning. If you are a new artist, make sure to invest some time learning about how the industry is changing and how you can take advantage of the fact. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.